If we look at how things have changed over the last year or so, um, it's useful to go back, I suppose, to the start of 2013. If you talk about 2011, 2012, you'd have heard people talking about the rise of the more stealthy, more sophisticated application layer attacks. And then at the start of 2013, we started seeing attackers going back towards using brute force, using volumetric attacks to achieve their goals, effectively cutting their target off for the, from the internet by saturating their internet connectivity. Last year, um, we all remember the Spam House event, over 300 gigabits per second of DNS reflection amplification traffic. And then following on from that, we saw a proliferation of DNS reflection amplification attacks across the internet, mainly due to the media coverage of this particular attack vector and the circulation of attack tools and lists of servers that generated good ap amplification factors. Then before Christmas 2014, we saw various NTP reflection attacks targeting specific gaming operators and again there was a lot of media coverage and in the start of 2014 through Q1 and into early Q2 we saw again this proliferation of NTP attack traffic huge numbers of very large NTP reflection attacks, leveraging services and servers that are out there on the internet to magnify the capabilities of attackers. Reflection amplification techniques make use of services um, um, and servers that are out there on the internet that are open to exploitation.